Hello friends, this video on fiber and fabric part 7 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So knitting is basically another alternative process to weaving by which we can arrange the yarn to form a fabric. Like in case of weaving, what we did, we took two sets of yarns and arranged themselves interlaced with each other and we form a fabric. That's what we did in weaving. Now in knitting what we will do, instead of taking two sets of yarn, we will take a single set of yarn. So using a single set of yarn, we will arrange it in such a way that it will form a fabric. The best example that you can think of is knitting sweaters. And it is something very common which is done by females. In fact, uh, you can check out at your house uh, your mom or granny would know how to knit a sweater. So what they do, they take this yarn of wool and then with the help of these uh, sticks, they, you know, kind of uh, knit them together. So they just have one set of wool and with that they knit the entire sweater. So, so using one set of yarn also, you can create the entire fabric. So this is knitting. Now there are various types of knitted fa fabric. Now it is not only the sweaters which are knitted. For example, you think of the woolen caps, obviously woolen clothes and there also you have a lot of designs. So all the knitted sweaters do not look similar. They also have so many patterns or designs on them. So you can knit them accordingly to get different designs. You can also have a lace knitting. So these kind of table clothes you would have seen, I'm pretty sure. So this is like lace knitting. You might have uh, the socks. Now just look at your socks, not only the woolen socks, the normal socks also. Just try to pull a thread from it. And what happens? As you pull the thread, the thread keeps coming out of it. But that's how it happens. Why does it happen? Because it contains only one type of thread. So you, as you keep pulling the thread, all the thread which forms that entire socks, they are all like kind of interconnected. So you start pulling it, the entire thing comes out. So these are another examples where the, it is, an, which is an example of knitted fabric. You also have um, knitted dress. So the entire dress is uh, formed by knitting. Not the dress, I would say the dress has been stitched, but the entire fabric of the dress has been knitted. So many a times people get confused between uh, woven, woven fabric and knitted fabric. They feel that both of them are same. Now knitting and weaving, both of them are same in one context that in both the cases they help the yarn to get converted into a fabric. But in case of knitting we make use of single set of yarn. In case of weaving we make use of two distinct sets of yarn. And how can you, uh, by looking at the fabric, how do you know whether it is a knitted fabric or a weaven fabric. So let us have a look at that. So we'll have a comparison between knitted versus woven fabric. So when we talk about uh, knitted fabric, obviously one type of thread is used and here two types of threads are used. So just look at this picture. So here you have one thread which is like horizontal. So these are one type of threads. The other threads that is vertical, they are the other types of threads. So in woven you have two types of threads. But in case of knitted you just have one type of thread and you know this itself gets like interlaced with itself and that's how you get the knitted fabric. So when you look at a knitted fabric it is more stretchy. So the stretchable clothes are made up of knitting. So why they are stretchable because you see there are a lot of open spaces in between and these open spaces allows the stretchability whereas the woven fabric they are comparatively non-stretchy. So when you look at the woven fabric, you would actually see the threads, the two types of threads are running perpendicular to each other. But when you look at a knitted fabric, you see that it is all one continuous piece of thread. So one piece of thread which is running continuously and the loops, the interlocking loops, they allow for the natural stretchiness. Knitted fabric is thicker and heavier whereas the woven fabric is thinner and lighter. That is another difference. So knitted fabric is interlooped because here you just have one thread. So it is like loop formation within itself. Whereas uh, woven fabric is interlaced. So two different uh, threads are like interlaced with each other. So some examples of knitted fabrics are t-shirts, sweaters, whereas woven fabric would be denim, chiffon, satin. These are all examples of woven fabric. So just have a look at a satin cloth or a denim cloth. You will actually see that it is not stretchy. You, can stretch, you can't stretch it. But when you look at a sweater or a sweatshirt or a t-shirt. Thank you. 
please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.